I really can't see myself because obviously I don't wear my glasses. But hi, hey guys, how are you doing this morning? Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're seeing me. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi, hey, what is up and how's your day going? I'm in a good mood, but I'm not in a good mood because next week is school. I have new things I want to show you. Basically, I came back to the UK two days ago, I think, two days ago. And I've just been, I did a whole deep clean yesterday. I'm loving playing. I'm obviously seeing my hair. If you've been following my TikTok, you would know. Basically, I got some stuff. Hopefully, when this vlog comes up, you have already seen my Timu haul. But I'm still gonna show you in this vlog because, hello. I got a new clothing rack. I didn't want to film the whole process because that was just a whole stress. But this is so beautiful. It has like, obviously it has these two sides and then I can hang things up down here for my beanies and then when you come just right below I don't know if you can see that but it has two sides for keeping my shoes and then I got like this door rack that what I got like a hanging rack basically for keeping my bags and stuff that is so convenient in this British weather of course, of course I had to get a heater. I had to get a heater. Look at that piece of beauty. That has been warming up my room for the whole night. Like my room is not even feeling any form of cold. Like, yeah. Another thing I got was this wig stand. Look at it here. And obviously doing with the whole deep clean, I did laundry, so I have a bunch of laundry to fold up and keep back in where it's supposed to be. I I didn't really rearrange my room. More like obviously because it's a new year, just like change a little bit of some stuff in my room. And what else was I gonna say? I have to go pick up some stuff. I got Doc Martens. <laughs> I got Doc Martens. I own a pair of Doc Martens. I think this year is the year where I'm going to actually start investing in like quality pieces and stuff. Like things that can make the outfit look good. The main reason why I got Doc Martens is because I really wanted like work shoes and they were black and yeah, they're like everyday, everyday kind of boots. The next thing I'm gonna get is New Balances, maybe, or Uggs. I don't know, but I know I'm definitely gonna get the, my NBs because NBs are my favorite shoe brands. I have to go pick up my Doc Martens because they failed to deliver it to my accommodation because my accommodation door is not the best so you have to go pick that up and they're gonna close in the next one hour so I have to rush I got stuff from Boots I got like just like a shower gel and like I also finally invested in like you know those like hair removal creams that you use to like obviously remove hair I got like the proper one so I could properly remove hair off my body because I don't like waxing my body except it's my bikini line on my armpits everywhere else i don't know how the hair wants to go away but it has to go away and i don't like shaving shaving is don't shave so i don't know what this vlog is i don't know if it's coming on a vlog day with me an errand day with me but yeah i don't know this is vlog i i was actually having a shower and i was like you know what i should vlog today i also have tiktoks to film i'm in my tiktok era okay I'm also on my period. Like, just too many things are going on. So before I leave, this is my outfit. It's actually quite basic. It looks like an Aaron outfit. And it's just like this green puffer that's cropped with like my Emil hoodie, that my zipper hoodie, and these jeans from Primark. I don't know what shoe I'm going to wear, but it's probably going to be like proper shoes because it's cold outside. This is why I want my Doc Martin boots. I will wear those boots and finish them. So, yeah, I haven't even had breakfast. Oh, I'm on. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. I've been gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. At this time, I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me, she's too scary 
My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. Oh, hey, buddy. I wanna know what she's too down. Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, girl, no, maybe. In the meantime, just some me time. I'll be doing what you want. Everybody beats like Odell. Oh. My killers don't tell Shut down my mark of the New York to sell Now oh, my bitches think of the Chanel Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little baby In the meantime It's a good It's a good time I'm gonna be doing what you want Been a few hours for light days only been days, but it feel like mine. Only gone for a year, only like once. Life moves faster than we want. In the meantime, I just start going where I want it. It's the meantime, you do what you want. In the meantime, I just start going where I want it. It's the meantime, you do what you want. Maybe I'm not myself. I don't know. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. See me in the mirror, I'll duck myself. I look pregnant, I'm not. I have a big ass hot water bottle in my tummy because I'm in pain. <laughs> so I got back like I think an hour ago and um what did I do again? I also don't mind the noise, it's my heater. Um yeah, I got back an hour ago. I had breakfast, as you saw, and then I proceeded to like marinate chicken. I was gonna make stew, but then I forgot that I forgot a very essential ingredient, which is pepper. No, not like I said, I didn't forget pepper. I have red bell peppers, but like, you know, the like, the small, cute ones, <laughs> the Nigerian ones, the tiny ones, yeah. I asked my friend to go get some for me, and he's gonna get it for me. And yeah, unboxing. When I say I'm going to overwear these boots, y'all don't get it. You don't get it. Is this the best lighting? I really do not know. Excess. So big, I like it. My friends told me that when you wear them, you have to learn how to break into them, and it's gonna hurt. But then, but when you when you when you finally broke into the shoes, they're gonna feel as comfortable as ever. They're actually so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I actually love them. I actually really love them. Look at how pretty that is! Oh lord! I'm gonna show you guys what else I have gotten. The Veep Experts Hair Removal Cream with Shea Butter. You can use it for your legs and your body and it's suitable for all skin types yeah i can't wait to see how this is going to do because like i said i'm not the i hate i don't like having hair on my body like obviously i understand the hair positivity my movement but it's not my vibe it's, i just like it's just a, it's me thing I, you, if you want to keep your hair that's that, that's fair me i don't like my hair um yeah, Veet Miraculous Oil. I'm gonna use this both for waxing and for the hair remover because my skin is sensitive. I just got these two Dove body washes, the anti-stress one because this actually makes me feel like I am not about to... I'm just kidding. This actually makes me not stressed anymore. Like I normally use it when I'm like having a shower in the night. And it's just money. This just be mainly my morning things, my morning shower. Yeah, hydrocortisone cream. Me 
mostly because I have irritations whenever I like wax sometimes and this is just always good to use after yeah now for the things I got from Boots I got this um, face towel because your girl needs it's like every every month I need to replace my face towel I just feel like once I've used it once it needs to be changed <laughs> But yeah, I got this pink one. I don't know why. I feel like whenever I see white, I'm too agitated to always clean it every single time. But yeah, got these tampon and pad. My best body lotion, the Coco Palmer's one. I'm always restocking on this. I just wish I haven't found the right body lotion yet. This is just the one I'm sticking with because it smells nice i like vanilla scented body lotions and then i was looking around boots to see if there's like anything that i would like and nothing was like matching my vibe it was either almond and coconut and i'm like i want a coconut girly i'm actually not and yeah like brands if you're watching this and you want to send me a, like a good affordable what's the uh, what's the word yeah a good affordable vegan cruelty free body lotion that smells amazing i wouldn't mind trying because i want one as i'm looking for the right one that just smells wow because like, i like to like mix my scents not like mix my scents basically just more like i like to top it with like obviously i use a lotion then a body oil and then i have like three sets of sprays so i like i like to like smell exuberant if that makes sense that's all for the haul right now i'm probably going to just relax on my bed for a bit before i get up to go and mix stew because my tummy is actually really really hurting so i'm gonna see you then but that's the end of this haul uh yeah hi beautiful 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 people <laughs> i'm in pain ever since i yeah camera <laughs> I had a call with my friend and then I just started on doing nothing because my, my period was really hurting. I was just literally on the floor. Then I went to kind of actually like start preparing for my stew. And I realized midway that I don't have enough tomatoes. So I have to go to Tesco. Thank God that Tesco is actually just behind my accommodation. Let's go get tomatoes. Yeah. See you in Tesco. I'm back. Look at what it's giving. Wow. Stew is steaming, or more like the mixture of the ginger, garlic, tomatoes, and peppers are steaming. I'm gonna do a quick wash up. I'm bringing out all the spices I need. And then I marinated chicken. Don't ask me why I did like that. I made the chicken. I need to do a full on clean up in this kitchen because I've messed it up a little bit. But when you're cooking Nigerian food, it's gonna be me. I just I, I do so much at the same time, so I'm gonna be messy a bit. Um, yeah, I'm bringing all the spices. I'm not just basically the update. Uh, yeah, and my tummy is too badly hurt. I'm saying this while I'm actively taking ice cream. Fear woman. I just basically unbox my skincare. My numbers in glowing essence toner. I was just telling TikTok how I ordered my Savannah products on December 1st. Normally for me, there is like ship that same week or the week after. These people decided to break my heart and deliver it when I had already left the country. Like, so I literally traveled to Nigeria with, with nothing. My I also got the beauty of Josian Naya Cinnamine. I've heard so much talk, of, oh please. I've heard so much talk about this on TikTok, on like YouTube, on like all the skincare girlies. Like, I want to see what the hype is about. They're always like, oh, it will actually help with fading your dark spots. I'm like, okay, okay, because I'm trying to like eliminate these bad boys. Yeah. I'm going to share with you guys, both here and on TikTok, my experience with it. I also got the same, the, basically the lotion I was talking about. 
the best sunscreen in the world the way it has not failed me it's very hydrating holy grail cosrx hyal the snail using power essence basically i got the skin aqua sunscreen this i have to be so honest if you're into korean skincare and you told everybody that this the access by dark spots correcting glow serum is the holy grail baby baby don't do that i don't know for me it's not working i've done everything it's not like i don't even know why i bought it again <laughs> i got the favorite my favorite things acne patches i wish they were cuter but these are from these are from cosrx and this one you know to that brand the star the star ones i don't get, like i they look cute i can't lie i love, I love wearing the i'm walking around because i'm like i feel so uh, but it's not working it is not working i've only had two of the stars work but every time i would wear it and yes i will let the you know when the pimple is ready to be popped i will let it show the next day it's not gone it's nothing's happening it basically it basically feels like a sticker on my face and yeah that's my haul this was supposed to be like a Ooh, first week back in school type of vibe it's day four explain yourself James Omega explain yourself I've actually just I don't, I don't want to say I've been busy I have just refused to pick up the camera with that being said <laughs> I went to class came back and I had like a cute fit on I just felt like a very artsy girl and um i've just been filming a lot of like tiktoks i've just been really focused with school and i'm supposed to literally be getting ready because i have an audition by 7 p.m it's just 3 58 i have time but yeah i asked you guys to give me like book recommendations because i started reading the let me get the book out this book nearly all the men in lagos are mad i began this book on monday i'm literally at the end and it's crazy to me because when i was younger i used to really really like be in tune with books then i stopped because i had to become the academic excellence i had to be so i had to choose between either academic books or fictional books so i chose academic validation which is fair it's it's, it's fair it's nigeria we grew up in and i lost that love for books just like went down the drain and then i started like trying to read up books again i would just waste time but there's something about like african literature just got me i bought more books yeah you're probably asking you to ask me what books did i get i'm going to show you i'm going to show you stay with me ayobami adebayo wahala by nikki me i want to see what it is before i even look at the description the book kind of already caught my eye like the first the first thing is wahala like i'm quite intrigued I want to see what it's about. I want to see what the vibe is saying. And then another recommendation is called Yinka Where's Your Husband by Lizzie Damola Blackburn. I'm in for the vibe. I'm already in for the vibe. I've already like added into my routines to be reading, reading, reading the Bible, doing my workouts. Like this week, I feel like another reason why I haven't really like picked up my camera. I know, I know this vlog I just be talk 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 but i'm sorry i am so sorry if you don't like me talking maybe go to about the vlogs this this vlog i'm gonna be talking um what was i gonna say i was gonna say that um yeah i think another reason i haven't really been picking up my camera is because i have been trying to like get into a new routine so i began like a new morning routine and evening routine on monday so i've just been like trying to like perfect it and today i'm actually gonna mess it up again Not again but because i have an audition so my evening routine is kind of like already out the drain but i did my morning routine and i did it perfectly so that's the main reason why i haven't picked up my camera and it's so sad but it's not we, we, we move we move we move we move do you like what i did to my lips <laughs> i don't know something about me today just looks like chimson you need to get yourself on 
check. What's that? Go outside, look good. I also did a big girl purchase today. I did a big girl purchase. I got Fenty Beauty. When God says yes, he says yes. I said I deserve, because like I want to start doing makeup a lot more. I'm just like, like I just really want to get in tune with myself. Like I want to sit down, do something with my self care. I want to, I want to like perfect my, my makeup routine. I want to perfect my skincare routine. I want to perfect my, just everything about me, both like insides. But so I, want to, I want to just really like this year, I really want to like feminize myself. I really want to like be at my highest self and that's the vibe i really want you guys to be on board with me i really want you guys to like see my journey and everything that's the vibe that is really the vibe and i'm gonna give you guys the tips and tricks on the way but yeah i'm gonna get into my reading not now because it's currently 404 i'm gonna get ready to go have a shower and then i'll probably do that also i did this thing with my eyebrows i don't know if i like it i basically used um let me show you I use the Veet Expert. I feel like this should be the best product on the market. No cap. I use this, but I use it a bit too much on this side. I don't know if you guys look at my pictures on Instagram. You guys know I have like, not, I won't call it bushy eyebrows, but I have like enough eyebrows. But this, I just tried to like reduce it a bit. I'm like, I like how this came out. This just shows that I don't have enough eyebrow hairs here. And then I also use this on my legs. Can you see that? There is no, there is no hair. There is no what? No hair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when else I want to pick up this camera. Well, I don't know. We'll just have to go with the vibes. I'll see you guys another time. Oh.